Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the initial value theorem of the Z transform. Initial value theorem. Initial value theorem related to Z transform. So the theorem can so the theorem can be stated as follows: If x of n is a causal signal, that is x of n is equal to zero for n less than zero. then x of 0 is given by limit as z tends to infinity x of z so the initial value of the signal is given by the value of the z transform as z tends to infinity let us look at the proof for this theorem since x of n is causal since x of n is causal the definition of the z transform since x of n is causal the definition of the z transform can be written as x of z is equal to summation n equal to 0 to infinity x of n z power minus n so instead of minus infinity we have zero because of the causality of the signal x of n now by expanding this definition or this series we have x of 0 plus x of 1 z power minus 1 plus x of 2 z power minus 2 and so on up to infinity so this is the series form of this summation now by applying limits on both sides that is limit z tends to infinity x of z will be equal to x of 0 plus limit because the first term does not have a z term so it is actually x of 0 even when z tends to infinity so x of 0 plus limit z tends to infinity x of 1 times z power minus 1 plus limit z tends to infinity x of 2 z power minus 2 plus and so on that is we have infinite number of terms now the first term uh, basically is still x of 0 and the second term z as tends uh, the second term becomes 0 because limit as z tends to infinity x of 1 times z power minus 1 and this value z power minus 1 becomes zero as z tends to infinity so this second term becomes a zero similarly the third term also becomes a zero and so on that is all the subsequent terms become zero so the summation finally becomes x of 0 therefore the initial value theorem is proved that is x of 0 is indeed equal to limit z tends to infinity x of z so that is the initial value theorem now let us look at a few examples that illustrate this theorem first one is we have signal x of n which is equal to a power n u of n and the corresponding z transform is x of z equal to 1 by 1 minus a z inverse and now by applying the initial value theorem that is limit z tends to infinity x of z is equal to limit z tends to infinity 1 by 1 minus a z inverse so by applying this limit this term becomes 1 by 1 that is 1 and when we verify this when the original signal that is x of n x of 0 is equal to a power 0 and u of 0 which is basically 1 so indeed x of 0 is equal to 1 now let us look at a second example where x of z is equal to 1 minus z inverse cos of omega not divided by 1 minus 2 times z inverse cos omega not plus z power minus 2 now let us evaluate this z transform as z tends to infinity so limit z tends to infinity x of z is equal to limit z tends to infinity 1 minus z inverse cos omega not divided by 1 minus 2 times z inverse cos omega not plus z power minus 2 so if we evaluate this ratio as z tends to infinity what we will get is 1 minus 0 divided by 1 minus 0 plus 0 because all these terms have uh, term in term, uh, all these terms have z power minus 1 or a power of the term so these are all becoming zero so the ratio becomes 1 and if you recall the corresponding time domain signal to x of z that is this 1 minus z inverse cos omega not by 
1 minus 2z inverse cos omega naught plus z power minus 2 it is for this z transform the, co the ta corresponding time domain signal x of n is given by cos omega naught n omega naught n multiplied by u of n so that is the original time domain signal so when we put n equal to 0 we have co x of 0 is basically cos 0 and u of 0 which is equal to 1 so hence again the initial value theorem is verified similarly we can look at other signals and we can uh, look, compute the initial value of the signals so to summarize in this video we have learnt the initial value theorem that is for a causal signal when x, that is x of n is equal to 0 for n less than 0 there is a causal signal the initial value of the signal that is x of 0 is given by limit z tends to infinity x of z that is it is the value of the z transform as z goes to infinity so and this theorem can be easily proved from the definition of the z transform by simply evaluating all the terms except the x of 0 uh, by simply evaluating all the terms uh, as the limit z tends to infinity only the first term survives and all other terms become zero so x of zero is indeed equal to uh, the value of the z transform as z becomes infinity and we also look at some examples uh, that utilize or that can utilize this initial value theorem to compute the values of the signals at n equal to zero thanks for watching